Welcome to Jackal DR1 Tech. The point of this video is to show you that you can use Android Auto on an old phone, like this one. This is Xiaomi Redmi 4 Prime. I think it came out in 2017. And the latest version of Android that it supported was Android 7 on the MIUI. Now what I will show you is the settings. So this is Redmi 4 Prime. And if I go down here we have Android version. It's 10. I'm using the Evolution X ROM. And I have installed it in 2020. The issue that I had is that Android Auto did not work with this phone. I thought that I would have to replace the ROM and I didn't want to install everything again or either buy a new phone. But now I'll show you that this actually does work. So this car has Android Auto that needs to be plugged in. So no Bluetooth. Maybe that will be something that I'll do later on. Now what I need to do is enable the Bluetooth. So let's see, Android Auto is connected. If I go to navigation, well, I will need to enable location and I have the data enabled. So as you can see, the Google Maps work. I also set my custom icons down here, so I can go to the music player, at least I should be able to. So it plays the music, I just have the audio muted, and this has to be set on the phone, you can't set this inside the car. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's hop back to the phone. Now what I had an issue with with the phone is when it didn't work so let's go to settings again and this time we'll go to the apps and you'll have to open all of the apps so see all the apps and find android auto now what will happen if you have an older phone maybe you will see android auto but the size will be non-existent. In this case I have 131 megabytes, so this is all good. Previously, when the Android Auto did not work, the size was less than one megabyte, which was an issue. So when I plugged the phone in, it detected it, it wanted to download and install the Android Auto, but I just couldn't. So the fix for that was to install the updated Google Apps. But you only need to do this if you have installed the custom ROM previously and have not made any updates since then. Now if you have installed custom ROM, I will not show you how to do this. Now let me show you what you want to do. Once you get Android Auto installed on the phone, you will want to go additional settings in the app. So all the way down here. Now we'll have to add the card that you want to connect this to. We'll have some general customized launcher. So I think these are the icons. It is so. So these are the apps that you can add to the menu, at least some of them. And the apps that are compatible with the Android Auto will show on this list. And then you'll also want to enable start Android Auto while locked. Start music automatically if you want. And we also have some other features. Now let me just show you what I did update. So we have the apps here. And I should be able to find Google Apps. Is it Google Play Services? I think it might be this. But I'll show you where to download them if you need to download them manually. Now you need to download them manually only if the Android version that you are using is either 8 and 9. The Android Auto will not work if you have a version of 7 or less. 
and if you have an Android version of 10 or newer, the Android Auto is already installed on the phone. But as I said, if you have a custom ROM like I have with Android version 10 or newer and the Android Auto does not work, just make sure that you update the GApps. Now I'll just jump in and show you which files to download. Usually these are the GApps. The popular ones are Nick Gaps, but I've used, I think, Open Gaps. And then I will also show you where to download Android APK files. So with this button down here you can then also change the view of what you want. If you just want the music or the map, this is where you can do that. But this also depends on the dashboard that the car has. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more DIY and tech content. And we'll do something else in the next video.